So guys, it's Google again with another ROM review and uh, this time I've got the Ape Xperia ROM for the Galaxy S3, so stay tuned for that. So guys, uh, here I have the Ape Xperia ROM, which is well as the name suggests, an Xperia themed ROM for the S3. So let's get started. Now first of all, what you would see here is the lock screen, which is basically the uh, lollipop lock screen. So you have nothing special in that. Now this is something which I want to uh, tell you guys. This is a basic CM 12.1 ROM so there's no special voodoo going on it's just a really really cool ROM which is based on uh, CM 12.1 uh, uh, with with the theme of one of the best uh, user interface in my opinion so that's really really cool let's get into the settings now in the uh, option stuff let's go uh, again as I've said this is a themed ROM this does not just simply go for a CM theme of Cyanogen uh, for Xperia and just call it a day it doesn't work that way it does have a few stuff like it does use the system UI from the latest Z5 uh, and it does have a lot of applications from that so let's get started so in the setting in the about phone page you can see a few stuff here like it is android 5.1.1 which is the latest version of android so it is lollipop you have a lot of stuff there it's really nice uh, it is build date is the latest is on november 6 so it is the latest version which i am using right now so you have a lot of stuff uh, all the security patches are already in enabled like uh, science and mod have so that is really really nice to have so yeah pretty cool now in the extra settings uh as I've said, this is a basic Cyanogen mod ROM. It does not have a lot of extra settings. Basically, it has a few stuff like, uh, well, it does have theming engine, which is pretty cool. It does have the theming engine of the uh, Cyanogen mod. So you do have options for changing everything if you are not satisfied with this, uh, the Xperia stuff in here so you can actually have that in the display and lights option you do have adaptive brightness live display option uh, change the color of the uh, display and all that stuff double tap these shadows about to tweak that is something which i really appreciate the um font size changer i like it a small font so you can actually have that so that's really nice uh in the other options notification options stuff like that heads up notification customization uh devices locked or do you want the notification to come up or stuff like that you do have a lot of options in that it does have the pin option and it has the quick unlock option which i really really appreciate also the scramble layout if you want a bit more security in that so you can actually have that working uh notification setting themes uh, lock screen options buttons it does have buttons options Option. so you can actually enable the on-screen nav bar and have them working you do need a restart which uh, will have that power button to end call navigation bar left-handed mode all of that is working so that is really nice battery options you do have a few battery options now about the battery life this is a cm 12.1 rom it does have all the bugs of cm 12.1 so it also has the battery life of cm 12.1 and i mean exactly the same battery life as the cm 12.1 rom so there's no difference between them and yeah i guess if you have if you are happy with cm 12.1 battery life you will be happy with it too in my daily usage i can kind of get about 70 percent of the day through with heavy usage so i guess that is pretty good enough on a lollipop rom on the s3 so that's really nice so yeah that much is it in the settings menu as i've said this is a themed cm 12.1 roms and cm 12.1 roms doesn't seem to have a lot of settings in built into them so yeah for the theme of xperia you can actually use this rom and get away with it so it's it's really nice i mean you have all these features you can uh, go for that and you can actually use a lot of stuff here pretty nice so guys let's get into the applications of this rom uh, now it is a themed uh, Xperia ROM so you do have all the themed applications also so like the uh, music application which is uh, basically Walkman it's really nice to have these things um, in the settings menu you do have a few equalization options like quick play uh, sound enhancements but this is actually not the uh, actual uh, Sony's implementation of the equalizer function so this is this may come out of some surprise but uh, not for a lot of people so yeah it does have a quick play option all that with the latest version of the uh, music player so yeah that's really nice apart from that it is a basic good quality music player so you do have actually have a lot of stuff here so that's really nice the other stuff includes the album application which does have a lot of stuff with it so yeah you do have a 
uh, well it is a Sony album application and if you are using Sony album and it does have the uh, all the faces and folder application camera effects all that is available but can cause uh, a few uh, force close issues so yeah but not always so you can actually get around them pretty easily you do have the video application what's new okay now what's new is probably one of the least useful application you can get on a Sony smartphone so I'm not really sure why they have actually included the what's new application that's just a uh, waste of time in my opinion so yeah but it is still there if you want the stock Sony feel you do have this option available so you can just click that and go for that so yeah it does have the calendar from Sony which is my favorite calendar application on any phone uh, uh, apart from S Planner maybe but uh, this one the calendar application is a real real good seller because it is really awesome it does have the news from social life which actually takes stuff from your facebook feed uh, twitter feed all that and keeps it in one place so that's really nice it does have the clock and alarm application from the sony themed one so you do have all that now the life log life log is pretty useful but it is also very very invasive in terms of privacy because it actually counts everything you do with the phone everything you do uh, even the number of steps you take it does have a sort of a sentient stuff going on to it so uh, you may want to tone down on, on that I have used this for about a month and it was pretty cool at the time but uh, after seeing the privacy issues it can cause I kind of sort of stopped using it so yeah it depends on personal preferences I personally do not use it so yeah now the other applications include the movie creator which I personally find very very cool because uh, you can, it actually takes the photographs you have taking you are taking on your phone and it compiles a movie from those photographs uh, it's kind of like a lot of other uh, applications out there which are coming with other uh, a few phones so you do have that option which is pretty cool I really appreciate that you do have sketch which is a uh, painter application so you do have that option so yeah that's really nice so in this you can actually make uh, sketches you can enable art whatever you want so that is really cool you can actually do a lot of stuff here so yeah pretty nice it does have the track id application which is a uh, song identification application if you are using shazam this is not an on par with shazam or soundhound uh, i personally use shazam on my xperia and i rarely use track id but hey it is there if you are someone who is using it xperia lounge is there which uh, gives you a lot of extra stuff like um, cheap discounts on products sony products basically so and uh, chances to win uh, applications and all that i'm not really sure the implications of that in the s3 s3 but uh, it has actually helped me get a few uh, freebies out of my c3 so that's really nice it does have the camera application which is basic camera application it's not the experience camera so yeah you can expect what is available with this camera so that is really nice um, it also has the audio effects which is the equalizer which is available with any other phone so that's really nice so yeah notes in the notes application you do have a few note it is basic note making application it's nothing special Xperia link now this is something which I really really appreciate because you can actually connect your PC with an application with the software and to another Xperia device or tablet using this via the Wi-Fi so that is really nice if you have been using this one that is enough to let you guys know how awesome that is I can't actually talk about it and make you guys understand that so that is something there so yeah um, rest everything is pretty much same uh, I'll show you guys the boot animation which is pretty cool so guys here is the boot animation for the Ape Xperia ROM uh, which is basically the, uh, the Xperia Z5 boot animation which is pretty cool I'm not really sure if it is blue or white in this one it is blue so yeah depending on what you want so let me show you guys the enter to benchmark score which is pretty awesome so yeah let's see
So guys, there you have it. That is the score which I received with the N22 benchmark, which is 23,000, which is about on the average which I'm receiving with this ROM. So uh, that doesn't mean it's a powerhouse, but still a very respectable score, uh, considering it has a lot of stuff inside of this. This is a 400 meg ROM to install without the G app. So that is saying something. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, I guess that much is it about the ROM. I mean, now this ROM, as I've said, is a themed CM 12.1 ROM. So you are going to expect all the bugs, all the uh, problems you are used to experiencing in a CM 12.1 ROM. So this is no exception. There are a few stuff which does not work. Uh, like GP GPS is not always on track. Camera issues does occur a few times uh, well the camera can't connect issue is still there uh, I have used it I have uh, seen that message pop up uh, one or two times so yeah it is there but still the if you guys want a very good Z5 experience or the Xperia experience using NS3 this is a really good way to go for that so that's really really nice and uh, again battery life is dependent on your usage and also it's about as much as you get with the CM 12.1 ROM. Nothing special there. So, yeah. So, I guess that much is it about the ROM. Hope you guys liked the video. Please share, subscribe, and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.